switch statement. The switch statement is a control statement that allows one to choose from multiple outcomes. The switch value represents the control variable and it must have either an integer or character value. The cases of a switch statement represent possible outcomes for the control variable. The break statement causes the switch statement to exit. It is used to prevent the compiler from continuing to the next case. The default case is chosen when the switch value does not equal any of the case values. The switch statement can often be used to replace a series of decision statements. In this example, we have asked the user to enter a number from 1 to 3. The value is then stored in the variable number. Next, we have three different decision statements that represent possible outcomes for the user's input. However, these decision statements can be combined into one switch statement. The user enters the value 2. 2 is then assigned to the variable number. The decision statement checks to see if the condition is true. If it is false, then it moves on. Number does not equal to 1, so the program moves on to the next decision statement. Number does equal to 2, so the decision statement is executed. Although number is equal to 2, the program will also check the last decision statement. Since number does not equal to 3, the decision statement is not executed and the program exits. Now we've replaced the series of decision statements with the switch statement. Number is the control variable and must have either an integer or character value. The decision statements were replaced with cases. The case statement compares the control variable to the case value. If they are equal, then that case is executed. If they aren't equal, the case is bypassed.
Let's see an example. The user enters the value 2. 2 is then assigned to the variable number. The switch statement takes the value of number and compares it to its case values. The first case evaluates if the value of number is equal to 1. Since the value of number is 2, this is not a match and the compiler moves on to the next case. The second case evaluates if the value of number is equal to 2. Since the value of number is 2, this is a match. Therefore, the statement is executed. The break statement will cause the program to exit the switch structure and prevent it from moving on to the next case. The end of the main function is reached and the program exits. This concludes our section on switch statements. Next we will be discussing loops.